this up guys welcome to the video it's about 5 30 in the morning i'm sitting in washington square park right now and the reason i'm here so early is i woke up went for a little bike ride this morning uh yesterday was admittedly like a pretty tough day for me and i knew i wanted to wake up do something productive do something that i know that i enjoy to try and like get ahead of today because i know how difficult it can be for myself personally like if i have like a bad day that can really easily like turn into two bad days and i didn't want that to happen so i'm sitting here enjoying the park reminding myself like of all the like good things that you can enjoy out here i'm just gonna sit here drink my coffee read a book and i'll check back in with you guys later So I am back home, it is about 11 o'clock. Today we're gonna to be talking about how you can get back on track after some time off. Whether that's because you were really sick and had to take like a week off, or maybe you were on vacation and your diet was way off and you didn't work out at all, or anything like that. Anything that takes you off of the plan you set for yourself, took you away from your goals for any amount of time, and this is how you can get back on track. Oh, hmm. Real quick, something just fell out of the sky. It says subscribe. So if you haven't already, make sure to listen to the uh, piece of paper that just magically fell out of the sky and into my apartment. So if you're not already subscribed, we just passed 150 subscribers, well on the road to 200. Thank you guys so much. That is a huge milestone to me. It shows me that like what I'm doing here is resonating with you guys and I appreciate every single one of you so very much. But without further ado, enough joking around, let's dive in into things you can do to get back on track after any time off. So the first thing that I wanna hit on is that it doesn't matter if it was a bad weekend, a bad day, a bad week, a bad month, or a bad year, or years. I don't care. The reality of the situation is this. As long as you don't give up, you can always get back on track. And the reason I'm starting off saying that is that the big thing that stops people from reaching their goals is that they're really motivated for a short period of time or even a long period of time, and then life happens. Whether you get the flu, whether you get a new job, whether you move, it doesn't matter what it is. Things happen in life, and they do not exist in some universe that is outside of the goals that you set for yourself. So regardless of how on track and how dialed in you are to Day, odds are there's gonna come a time where you just can't be for whatever reason something's going to happen at some point and that doesn't mean that you can't get to where you want to be so first and foremost remember that you cannot mess up as long as you commit to getting back on track whether that's a week later a month later or a year later as long as you get back on track you cannot mess up. But then what are the actual ways that you can get back on track? So let's start off by talking about the gym. So let's say you've been killing it in the gym. You're seeing like unprecedented linear strength gains week to week. Every time you go to the gym, you're getting stronger, things are feeling great, and then you get the flu and you can't go to the gym for a week. Well, that can be fairly defeating, especially when things are going so well to just be yanked out of that. And then you just feel weak and you feel sore and your body's achy and it feels like a shell of the body that it once was. A couple days go by, you're feeling better, you're ready to go back in the gym. The important thing is that first you made the decision to get back into the gym. And you should know that that first time back in the gym, you shouldn't push yourself. The big win that you should be looking for in that first day back is the fact that you got there. If you go back to the gym with the mindset that you're gonna go right back to where you were and be able to bring the same intensity and hit the same weights that you were able to hit maybe the week before, odds are that's not gonna happen for you. Now, I'm not saying that it can't happen for you, but if you approach it from the standpoint of, okay, I'm back in the gym, I'm back to my normal self, so I'm gonna be exactly where I was. If you were really sick for any period of time, odds are you're probably not gonna be back to 100% from a strength standpoint that first time back in the gym. Now, if you are, more power to you, and I'm happy for you. But for most of us, we might suffer a little strength decrease those first couple workouts back. The important thing is to recognize the win in getting back. Now, in that workout, I would recommend bringing the intensity down. So let's say you're doing four sets of every exercise in your workout, maybe on that first one back, drop everything to three sets or even two sets. Getting from start to finish of the workout should be the priority. It shouldn't be hitting your strength numbers you hit before or even building upon those. To be blunt about it, set the bar a lot lower for yourself. It is very, very normal 
to suffer some type of decrease in strength gains when taking time off from the gym, especially if that time off was brought on by some type of physical issue, like an injury or being sick or anything like that. So don't be too hard on yourself lower the intensity a bit and focus on just getting through the workout, checking the box that you did it, I'm back on my routine. Next big thing I want you to be thinking about is your nutrition. I'll use myself as an example right now. So this past week, I didn't work out at all and I also didn't eat for two straight days because I got pretty sick towards the end of last week and into the weekend. And in that time, I didn't eat like at all. I'm talking like almost completely fasted for two days straight because I really was that sick. Now, the days that I started to feel better, did I immediately try and hit the macro targets that I set for myself? Did I try to go from eating nothing for two days to hitting 180 grams of protein in my diet and to try and hit 300 grams of carbs? No. I didn't do that. In fact, I didn't track anything. I just focused on getting back into somewhat of a routine of eating and try to reintroduce foods back into my diet that I know are part of the regimen that I have been on. Now that's speaking from a standpoint of I was sick, so I wasn't eating and I didn't wanna just bombard my system with a bunch of food all of a sudden. But that was because I was sick. Maybe you fell off track or had to take time off because you were on vacation for a week or two. And on that vacation, you drank a lot, you ate a lot more than you were supposed to, and all the rest of it. You enjoyed vacation, which, by the way, that's kind of the point of vacation, so don't be hard on yourself from the outset. The thing that I would have you do is try and get 60 to 70% of the way there on your nutrition on the first day back. If you went from sipping Mai Tais on the beach and having pizza and cheeseburgers and stuff at night, and you're just like, stoked about that because that's super fun and you go back to just cutting all of that stuff out completely from your diet that zero to 60 jump can be really jarring for yourself more so from a mental standpoint and that's really the the core of this so what i would have you do is shoot for 60 to 70 percent of your normal diet back into things now if you can go back from my ties on the beach to egg whites and spinach and just be good to go and be like yep i'm back good for you this video is probably not for you though and at this point, you're probably noticing a theme. And the theme is set the bar low for yourself. I'm all for pushing yourself. I'm all for being hyper competitive with yourself and all the rest of it. And I think that people should push themselves a lot more than they normally do. The time to do that is not the time after you just had to take a couple weeks off or a week off or a really bad weekend or anything that derailed you. Because odds are, if you had to take time off for something serious, whether it was illness or a big move or something that jarred your life, as much as I'm for holding yourself to a high standard and treating yourself with respect and dignity and all these things, I think there is an absolute time and place to be excessively kind to yourself. And for a lot of folks, that's when they need to get back on the wagon. Because for whatever knocked you off the wagon, you can't just be a dick to yourself about that. What's more important in that moment than you holding yourself up to this crazy high standard and being really hard on yourself is just getting your foot back in the door and hopping back on the wagon. Because if you do that, you'll be able to have plenty of other instances later on in your life and later on in that journey to be super hard on yourself and really push yourself and really get yourself to where you wanna be. But the time for that is not the day after you just got back from being sick in bed for a week. So right there, we've hit training, set the bar low for yourself, expect to be a little weaker, don't hurt yourself, don't try to overexert, or expect to make the same strength gains you've been making if you had to take some time off from the gym. From a nutrition standpoint, don't go from 0% on your diet to going straight back to 100% perfection, dialed in perfectly with that. Shoot for 60 to 70% of where you were at previously and ease your way up to it. And from a mindset standpoint, remember this, you can't mess this up. No matter how many times you fall off track, whether that's because of an illness or because life gets in the way or anything like that, it doesn't matter. You can take a day off, a week off, a month off, a year off, it doesn't matter. As long as you commit to getting back on track, you'll get to where you wanna be. Because at the end of the day, there is no end date to this stuff. Somebody once told me that this fitness stuff is a lifelong achievement, and that is absolutely true. There is no end date to this. There is no rush or anything like that. It doesn't matter how much time you take off. 
as long as you get yourself back on track and lower that bar as much as you need to to hop over it and get back to where you want to be you will get there if you made it all the way to the end of the video thank you so much please make sure to like the video comment on it if you found this stuff useful and of course subscribe if the uh, paper drop gag was not enough for you at the beginning please make sure to do that it really helps we are well on the road to 200 subs i appreciate you guys so much and i will catch you in the next one oh.